on the 28 hour SQL Server Masterclass on the Udemy platform from only $15 instead of $89. Learn how to become a future developer or either a future DBA or performance expert on SQL Server with 150 exercises. The link to the promotion is in the video description. Okay? Want to get started on SQL Server? Then join me! The schema. This is something you will often see in SQL Server when creating a table or store procedure or view. Okay? Maybe, uh, maybe you never paid attention, uh, but schema exists on tables by default and also on store procedure view or SQL Server objects. Okay, so we are going to do a little section about the schema. So what is the schema? We can consider the schema as a bag, okay, uh, where we will put all the objects in it. Okay, be a table, storage procedure, view, and so on. Okay, so a schema is like a bag where we put object. You you will understand. You will understand why afterwards. Okay, we can also consider schema uh, as a sub basis. It can be convenient to divide your base into several parts in order to manage these different parts separately. Okay. Schema are very useful for security or SQL Server. We will do a demonstration to better understand. And you must to know that the default schema on SQL Server is DBO. Okay? If you create a table and you don't put the name of the schema, it's DBO by default. Usually, usually software package create their, their whole schema to separate their tables from tables in the schema debut. Okay, so we can say that uh, a schema look like this. I have a schema on the left called schema, and when I go to create storage procedure table or view on the rag, you can say that these objects are going to be put in this bag. Okay? So, storage procedure, table and view are going to be put in this bag. So, we will see in the demonstration to make, to make it clear for you. Let's go for the demonstration concerning the schema. Okay, let's go for the demonstration about the schema. I use my database formation as usual. As you can see, the syntax in Sybil to create a schema. Create schema with the name of my schema. Okay, you can see it's quite simple. Okay, so let's create the schema is done and you can see that the schema on SQL Server are in the security section. Okay, if I do a refresh, schema on the security section, schema, and you can see that Star Wars schema has appeared in my schema section. Okay, so here I'm going to, I'm gonna to create a table that will be linked to this schema. So create table with the name of my schema before the name of the table with the point. Okay, schema and the table that I want to create with the name of my column. Column one, a simple column. Let's create table with the schema Star Wars and if I do a refresh on my table in, into the formation database 
you can see that the notable Star Wars Skywalker is okay. Uh, you, you can see that it's different compared to the other tables that we created in the previous section. So the GBO schema is the default schema when creating a table. Okay, you can see the DBO schema by default when you're creating a table. It's very important to remember about the schema. So we insert a value in this new table that I created. And to remind you when we create a table, if we don't put a schema default in front of the name of the table, it will take the default schema, which is DBO. Uh, let's, let's go for the creation of a view. You can create a view uh, with another schema, with a specific schema. For example, I want to create a view with a specific schema. Okay, let's create this view and if we refresh the view, we can see that the Star Wars view with the schema Star Wars view Dark Vador is now created. Okay, and we if we look at the view, select from Star Wars my view Star Wars, you can see that there is just one more. It works, it's working perfect, perfectly. Remember, you can also create a storage procedure with a different schema, like the view. The great advantage of schema is the security. Okay, it's the big advantage of the security schema. I will create, for example, a user called Hobby One with the store with the, the password. So we one two three four five uh, until the nine, and let's create Hobby One user. If you want to see where is your new friend, it's Hobby One. It's just here. Okay, I create. A user, a new user on the SQL Server on my SQL Server uh, security. Sorry, and, and I'm going to attach the Obi Wan, Obi Wan account, her account, sorry, to the database. Now you can see that Obi Wan is now here. Obi Wan can access to the formation. And to finish, let's give Obi Wan the right to this account. Grant select on schema Star Wars to Obi Wan. He will have the ability to just select the table on the schema Star Wars to uh, just on the schema Star Wars. Okay. Come on, I will give him the right to the schema. Okay, it's good, and now uh, I will log in with his account on the new Windows. So let's go for the new Windows. No, it's the another Windows. It's this Windows, and I'm gonna to connect with the uh, Obi Wan account. So let's go for connect. Just here, connect database engine. And let's this formation and SQL server authentication. Okay, just choose this option and we type the Obi Wan with the password one two three four five six seven until the nine. Sorry, it's not the good server. I think it's this one. And retype the good password. And now it's good. Now Hobby One is connect is connected to the SQL server on my SQL server. Okay. 
Okay, so now let's make a right click on the server, new query, and copy and paste the script. Okay, we can see on the bottom right that it's Obi Wan that is corrected. Okay. Okay, let's use formation database for Obi for Obi Wan uh, user account. It's working. Okay, Obi Wan can connect to the formation database. And what does the select give from the DBO contact? So, Nicolas want to just to make a select for on this table. Let's run this query and you have a, we have an error message. Select permission was denied on the object contact database schema db. Okay? And with the schema Dark Vador, the schema Star Wars, sorry. So let's run the Star Wars select the select on the Star Wars schema, it's worked, okay? Because Obi-Wan has the good right to the schema Star Wars and don't have the right to the schema DBO, okay? This is the great advantage of the schema, is that you can give, give rights to a different schema, okay? So, as I showed you before, we put the object of the Star Wars schema in this bag, okay, of Obi-Wan. So, Obi-Wan, we only see the object that have the Star Wars schema. And, and, that, the, and that is the big advantage of the schema. Okay, so, come on, let's move to the next section.